Okay, so this clip was sent to me back in 2015 by a guy named Matt D., who had apparently sent this clip around to some other people, including Dr. Jeff Meldrum, who took a look at this and said, well, that could be anything, could be anyone, and he's right. But what interests me is what Mr. Anything out there is doing, which is watch him launch that tree. So the question is, how big, how long, how much does that tree weigh? We're going to look at a log weight calculator to get an estimate. And if that thing is even close to right, we're looking at a guy out there in the trees that has super human strength. Let's go check it out. Okay, first, here's the clip. I don't think it's going to look like a there's a creature running around over that bit. Oh, yeah, okay. Now I see something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's kind of coming over the... <laughs> okay, so the first thing we need to do, we need to get a good guesstimate on how long that tree is. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take our mad tosser here and use him as a unit of measure. That is his torso there, we can see. So now I'm going to take his torso and drop it in four times. And let me get my tree lined up. There we go. So now we can say the tree he's tossing is four torsos long. Next question, how long is his torso? Well, if we say this guy's six foot, nice round number, that makes his torso three foot long. So now the tree is about 12 foot long, okay? Now, if you say, wait a minute, there's no way, that's just a stick, no way it's 12 foot long. Well, if you try shrinking the tree, it, it's, it's going to be relative now. You're now shrinking this guy. It's, let's say we make the tree only 10 foot long. Well, you've just made this guy only 5 foot tall. Now, there's nothing wrong with 5 foot tall. It's a fine height, but it is well below the national average for a male, an adult male. So... Just for now, for the sake of argument, we're going to say he's six foot, his torso is three foot, and the tree is 12 foot long. Okay, so here we are at woodweb.com, and these guys are all about the woodworking industry, and here they have a estimated log weight calculator. So I am going to set our tree to an aspen. I'm going to say that the small end diameter is four inches. And the large end is five inches. And I know we were going to go with a length of 12 foot, but I'll be nice and conservative and say 11 foot long. Calculate that. That would mean that the tree he's tossing is about 50 pounds. Okay, so here we've got a couple of pretty strong looking guys. And that right there is a 56 pound weight. And these guys are in training for the Highland Games competition. It's a, like a legendary strongman competition. And this is on YouTuber's channel, Mike Beach. So go give him a thumbs up and uh, a subscribe on this. Anyway, let's watch and see just how well they can handle. And, and, and you know they're strong uh, and they're pretty tough if they can uh, get away with wearing a kilt. Okay, uh, pretty good toss, pretty impressive. We didn't really get to see how far. Uh, here's another shot of just how far a pretty beefy guy can throw 56 pounds. Let's give one more. Oh, this guy's going to do the twirl. All right, that was pretty impressive. So there's strong guys tossing 56 pounds. We'll, we'll check out the guy in the kill one last time. All right. Okay, so think about what we just saw here. Okay, look at Mr. Kilt. That guy looks incredibly strong, incredibly fit. And he, he does the big wind up, gets momentum, and heaves it. And, and it was a good effort, a great effort. However, now compare that to this guy. Um, he's still a big guy, but he, he does not have the bulk that Mr. Kilt does. But what he does have what he's going to do here, he, 
he is going to employ magic. We are seeing unseen forces here. Centrifugal force to the rescue. And he sends that thing flying. I would guess that was the toss of the day. Now compare that to the mad tosser here. No magical forces, no physics to the rescue, no centrifugal force, just brute force. And look, he really just kind of, just kind of lobs it like he might a softball, a 50 something pound softball. And it just launches. Okay, now let's see the full toss. And here, there he goes. And he gets a nice high arc on that thing. And there it lands. And if that is 12 foot, then that's about one, two, three or better. That's about 36 to 40 feet that he tossed what could possibly be 50 something pounds. And if if you're saying, well, no way, I mean, okay, so it might be 12 feet, but it's a piece of plastic or something. Well, go <laughs> check it out. A, a PVC pipe, 12 foot long, if it was, say, four or five, six inch diameter, that thing is still going to weigh 10, 15 pounds or better. Can you launch a 15 pound pipe 30 or 40 feet like that? And, and watch it when it hits. I mean, that thing looks solid. So, so we don't see any bend like you might see with a pipe or something like that. It just hits. I mean, and it comes from a pretty good height. And when it hits, it appears to be very solid where you would think a pipe, there might be a little flex to it. Now, if you want this to be a, a paper mache tree or, or something like that. Well, again, watch when it hits. Um, if, if that was some flimsy material, it, it would surely fold at least or, or shatter. But no, that thing appears to be solid. You know, it, it's possible to see something so astonishing, so off the charts that we simply don't believe our own eyes. It's incomprehensible what we're seeing. If this toss were made on an Olympic play field and it was the 12 foot tree, one arm toss competition, I would wager that this would be the most celebrated athlete in history and millions upon millions of people all over the world would know his name and he would be rich and famous and make commercials, you know, you name it. The sky's the limit because this is superhuman strength. If that tree is e even close to what we, we believe its weight might be. But the thing is, there is no 12-foot tree one arm toss competition because that's impossible. I mean, it is ludicrous. Somebody could maybe chunk that tree a few feet, you know, but they can't launch it with one arm like that. Now, I know, I know the, the Highland Games, I know they have like the caber toss and it's an even heavier log, but about there, all they're going to do there is uh, top it end over end and they use their whole body and both arms and it's, it's a running start at it or at least a moving start, they can't run. And it's not a just one arm little toss like that. And the thing is, this didn't happen on an Olympic play field. It happened out here in a tree row, in the fog, out in the middle of nowhere, with nobody to witness it, but, you know, a, a few guys in a construction crew. And luckily... One of them filmed it. But if that tree is even close to what we believe it might be, the weight of it, then we're witnessing superhuman 
shrink. Now, does that prove that this is a Bigfoot? I'm not saying that at all. I've never said that once in, in any of my videos ever. But what this does prove is that this, this dark shape out here has super human strength. So you make of that whatever you will. And again, don't forget, I shaved a foot off that tree. But, but how about this? What if this guy wasn't six foot tall? What if he was seven foot tall? What if he was eight foot tall? That would mean that tree right there is about 16 feet long. That puts it over 100 pounds. Unthinkable. And if all that weren't mind-boggling enough, here's something even worse. See, see right there on the bottom of the tree, the dark spot there, it appears to have a bit of a root ball, dirt, which would make it even heavier. Uh, but the point is, where did he get this tree to toss it? And now some are going to say, well, it, you know, it's a forest. There's dead trees laying around. Well, watch when it hits. It doesn't shatter. It doesn't, it doesn't break or anything. So, so it's not, it's not that dead. It's not, it's certainly not rotten. So it, it's pretty convenient to say, well, there was a freshly dead tree there just ready for him to toss. You know, when you have to start relying on amazing coincidences to believe something's a hoax, mm. it, it makes it more and more unlikely. So now the question is, where did he get a 12-foot tree to toss? Because it's one thing to think of throwing a tree, 12-foot tree that far, but to yank one out of the ground, it, it, that's mind-blowing to me, mind-boggling. It, it would take, you know, heavy hydraulic equipment. D do this. Go outside and find a knee-high you know, little sapling of a tree and try to yank it out. I, I bet you can't. You know, I, I've seen weeds that you can't pull out by your hand. So, so for little saplings, you need a truck and a chain to get them out. Okay, that should work. And then just connect it to the other end. And the other end of this is connected to... The truck. All right. And here we go. And here it comes. Pull it right out, just like we wanted. Okay, so that's all I've got. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you have a video that you'd like to share with the world, you know, where, where you can actually see something moving around. I'm not talking about some just dark shape in the trees and shadows. I really can't do anything with those. But if you have a shape like this, I would love to see it. Um, you can contact me. There is still a way here on YouTube or over on my patreon.com channel. Please do so. Or if you've had an amazing encounter that you think the world would want to hear. I would love to hear it. Please contact me. Um, yes, comments are off here now, and I'll tell you why. I was gone for a year there, not making videos at all. And I left comments on the whole time, and boy, it got out of hand. And you know what? I, I have families with kids that watch these videos, and, and I know they would read through the comments. And idiots would, would, were, were showing up, leaving just nasty really inappropriate stuff and like you're, you're kidding me guys with that stuff anyway so I, I was forced to turn comments off because I, I no longer have the luxury of spending two or three hours a day or more to moderate comments and, and reply to everybody so you know I don't like it any more than you do because I, I can tell you reading your responses to my videos that and discussions we would have was my number one favorite thing about being Thinker Thunker. So I, I'm not happy about comments being off either. Who knows? Maybe in the future, YouTube will come up with a, a better, safer, colder environment to share and discuss ideas. As of now, or the way things are, sorry, comments are off. 
Now, I will say, you can comment all you want over on my Patreon.com channel, and you can do so in a thug-free, uh, bully-free environment. You know, it's just going to be patrons over there discussing and sharing ideas. I love it. Uh, it is a dollar a month, so if $12 a year is out of the question for you, I understand. Thank you anyway for, for watching my videos here and subscribing and liking and, and sharing with your friends. I, I appreciate that so much. And again, thank you so much to my patrons. Um, you guys are helping make these videos possible again. I, I appreciate you so very much. And, and if you like these videos, you should appreciate my patrons too. All right, guys, take care until next time.